Mr. Klein here with our second of three lessons in this chapter. Uh, this one will be on the types of chemical reactions. This one should be relatively short because we're just kind of reviewing an o of the different types of reactions but not going into too much detail about them. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Chemical reactions. So they're pretty cool. I mean, all sorts of strange things can happen. Kind of like that. Uh, but we can classify chemical reactions because they follow certain patterns and we can put them in the four different patterns which we'll talk about in this lesson. So let's go ahead and let's get started talking about these. In the previous lesson, it was stated that chemical reactions generally can be reversed, usually with the addition of energy. As a result, it makes sense that there can be different types of chemical reactions. Like I already said, we'll do and discuss four types of chemical reactions. Composition reactions, decomposition reactions, replacement reactions, and combustion reactions. So let's go ahead and let's get talking about these. The first type are composition reactions. Composition reactions are chemical reactions that occur when two or more reactants form a single product. And like we've done in the previous lesson, we talked about balancing equations and stuff, so we're already kind of familiar with chemical equations. And we can represent a composition reaction with this equation. A plus B yields C, okay? So we have two or more um, substances, A and B, and they come together and they combine to create a uh, substance C. And a good example of a composition reaction is when sodium and chlorine combine to form salt. So sodium could be uh, substance A, plus uh, chlorine, which would be substance B, yields the third substance, C, or salt, or sodium chloride. So let's go ahead and let's create our graphic organizer. Composition reactions are two or more substances forming a new one. A plus B yields C is the sample formula, and the formation of the salt is the example I gave you guys. Okay, so let's look at the second type, decomposition reactions. As you could probably guess, they're the reverse of composition reactions. In decomposition reactions, one reactant breaks down to form two or more products. And you can represent a decomposition reaction with this equation. A yields B plus C. Okay, so you have uh, substance A breaking down to form B and C substances. When water breaks down through electrolysis, it's a decomposition reaction. A is the water. Uh, with, when you add energy to it, electrical energy breaks down into hydrogen and oxygen. Or, if you remember, we did elephant toothpaste in class. That was a decomposition reaction. Two hydrogen peroxide yields two water and one oxygen. Okay, and the oxygen is caught in the bubbles. And there's also heat released and things like that, which we'll talk about in our next lesson. So, Let's go ahead and let's add to our uh, graphic organizer this information, a decomposition reaction. It's when one substance breaks down to form new ones. Okay, A yields B plus C. Electrolysis of water, like I said, is a decomposition reaction. On to number three, and actually four also. Replacement reactions. There are chemical reactions that involve ions that switch places in compounds. So in other words, replacement reactions only involve generally ionic uh, bonds, and they can also include metallic bonds also. There's two types of replacement reactions. First one are single replacement reactions. Well, single replacement reactions are when one ion takes the place of another one. They swap each other out. And the formula looks like this. A plus BC yields B plus AC. So substances A and B switch places. Okay, So that's a single replacement reaction. Well, you can have two ions repl switch places, and that's a double replacement reaction. Oh, like, for instance, you see down here at the bottom, AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. As you can see, uh, B and C, uh, I'm sorry, B and D swap places with each other. So where it was AB before, now it's AD. Where it was CD before, it's now CB. Okay. And there's all sorts of reactions that with this, for examples, and it's hard to give you just like some easy examples that you might be aware of in middle school. So we're not really going to have some examples, but I am going to show an example of a single replacement reaction right here. So we have iron and we have uh, copper as copper combined with uh, sulfur dioxide, uh, uh, sulfuric acid. Okay, and we have. A single replacement reaction. As you can see, the iron was separate 
in the uh, reactants and the products is combined with the sulfuric acid and the co it switched places with the copper and that's what's actually going on right here in this reaction so this is a single replacement reaction so let's go ahead in our graphic organizer we're going to add two different types of replacement reactions okay we have the replacement reaction which is in one set a single replacement a plus BC yields B plus AC. And then double replacement is when two sets of ions swap places. Okay, AB plus CD yields AD plus CB. Okay, so make sure you have that. And finally is the one we all know, our combustion reactions. Or when a substance reacts with oxygen quickly and usually producing heat and light. Another word for a combustion reaction is burning. Burning is a combustion reaction. An example of a combustion reaction is the burning of methane. And the sample chemical equation is usually like this. A, which is whatever substance you have, plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide and water are always, cre always created with combustion reactions and heat and light. So if we look at methane burning in the form of natural gas, we have methane plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water, and then also the heat and light we get from that. So let's go ahead and let's finish off our graphic organizer right here with combustion. The substance reacts with oxygen to form heat and light as well as carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so A plus O2 yields carbon dioxide plus water. And methane burning is your example. So there you go. That's the four main categories of chemical reactions. Nice and short, nice simple examples. And it all has to do with how the reactants turn into the products. Okay, so they can either come together in composition, break down in decomposition, swap places in replacement reactions, or form with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water in combustion reactions. So there you go. That's your lesson. If and as always, you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.